Madam Speaker, I yield to the gentle lady from Hawaii such time as she may consume. Madam Speaker, I rise to urge my colleagues to support S-1055, which honors the thousands of Japanese-American veterans who served during World War II. And I thank uh, my uh, colleague, Congressman Schiff, for introducing the legislation in the House and for his eloquent words this, uh, today in support of the Senate bill. At a time when many of their fellow Americans question their loyalty to the United States, these Japanese American soldiers enlisted and put their lives on the line to defend our freedoms overseas while fighting against fear and discrimination at home. S-1055 awards a Congressional Gold Medal to the 100th Infantry Battalion, the 442nd Regimental Combat Team, and the Military Intelligence Service in honor of their military service. Many of the soldiers comprising these units were Nisei, the American-born sons of Japanese immigrants. Some served in the University of Hawaii's Reserve Officers Training Corps, ROTC, which aided the wounded, buried the fallen, and helped defend vulnerable areas in Hawaii after the attack on Pearl Harbor. In spite of these acts of loyalty and courage, the U.S. Army discharged all Nisei in the ROTC unit, changed their draft status to ineligible, and segregated all Japanese Americans in the military on the mainland out of their units. During this time, more than 100,000 Japanese Americans were forcibly relocated from their homes to internment camps. Undaunted, members of the Hawaii Provisional Infantry Battalion joined the 100th Infantry Battalion in California to train as soldiers. The sheer determination and pursuit of excellence displayed by this battalion in training contributed to President Roosevelt's decision to allow Nisei volunteers to serve in the U.S. military again, leading to their incorporation into the 442nd. Members of the 100th and the 442nd risked their lives to fight for our country and allies in Europe. The 442nd Go For Broke unit became the most decorated in U.S. military history for its size and length of service, with its component, the 100th Infantry Battalion, earning the nickname the Purple Heart Battalion. In addition, the 6,000 or so Nisei that comprised the Military Intelligence Service made vital contributions to our wartime successes by conducting critical classified intelligence operations. And only in recent years has their invaluable service come to light. It is long past due to honor and acknowledge the MIS's critical role during the war. In the spirit of celebrating, celebrating these courageous soldiers, I'd like to share the stories of three men from Hawaii who overcame humble beginnings and adversity to become successful scholars and community leaders in Hawaii. Kobe Shoji was a junior at Pomona College when he and his family received orders to go to an internment camp in Arizona. They brought nothing more than a suitcase with them to the camp. Kobe enlisted the next year and went to Germany to fight as a member of the 442nd. Although he was wounded twice, he came back to the States never complaining about the discrimination he had faced or about the wounds he had suffered in the war. Kobe returned to complete his studies, recalling that it was as though, quote, nothing had happened except we were all much more mature due to the wartime experience. We all had the feeling we must do something to make the world a better place to live, end quote. Kobe earned his doctorate in plant physiology from UCLA and moved to Hawaii thereafter to teach at the University of Hawaii and worked as a respective agricultural expert. He later enjoyed watching his oldest son, Dave Shoji, coach the University of Hawaii's Rainbow Wahine volleyball team to many national championships. Ken Otagaki is another example of resilience and success. As a second son of a field laborer on the island of Hawaii, Ken left home at the age of 12 to work in Honolulu on the island of Oahu as a houseboy before putting himself through college. After the attack on Pearl Harbor, Ken enlisted and joined the 100th Infantry Division, serving overseas as a litter bearer. In January 1944, Ken was near Casino, Italy, when he and six other litter bearers were called upon to help soldiers in front of them. Ken and seven other soldiers faced a barrage of motor shells from the enemy. Three were killed. Four, including Ken, were seriously injured and were not evacuated until nearly a day later. Ken recuperated at Walter Reed Hospital and later received the Combat Infantry Badge and the Purple Heart. Ken wrote to his sweetheart, Janet, telling her that he had lost his right leg, 
two fingers on his right hand, and the sight in his right eye. And their daughter Joy recalled that her mother thought that her father, quote, wasn't going to sit around feeling sorry for himself, end quote. She married Ken later that year. The mother, not the daughter, of course. Because of his war injuries, Ken had to give up his plan to become a medical doctor, instead earning a PhD in animal science. And the Otakakis began their life together on the mainland and had five children before moving back to Hawaii. And Ken also not only taught at the University of Hawaii, but led the State Department of Agriculture. And he never let what others perceived to be his physical disability stop him from being active. He climbed trees to pick ripe mangoes and taught his kids how to swim and ride a bike. Uh, the last veteran I'd like to talk about, Yoshiaki Fujitani, worked as a member of the MIS. Yoshiaki grew up on the grounds of a Buddhist temple in the Pineapple Plantation community of Pauwela, Maui. A second-generation Japanese-American, Yoshiaki was taught ethics at Japanese language school, where he learned about honesty and perseverance by hearing stories about George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. He was also taught what is, what is known in Japanese as kuni or on excuse me, kuni no on, or gratitude to one's country, America. After serving in ROTC, Yoshiaki rose to the ranks in the Hawaii Territorial Guard, becoming squad leader. Of course, the guard was later disbanded without any explanation, but they believe that it's because the Japanese Americans in the guard were viewed as potential traitors. On December 7, 1941, while preparing to play softball, Yoshiaki saw smoke and planes flying above Pearl Harbor before learning about the attack on the radio. He volunteered for the civilian Varsity Victory Volunteers, but quit when he learned that his father was being held at a Department of Justice camp for being a potentially dangerous enemy alien. When his friends joined the 442nd, Yoshiaki's initial anger about his father's incarceration subsided, and he decided to join the MIS. He served in Tokyo on assignment for the military, Pacific Military Intelligence Research Section, and after the war ended, he got married, raised a family, returned to Maui as a minister of the Buddhist faith. He focused on fostering interfaith cooperation, eventually becoming the bishop of the Hawaii Kyodan. And in 1976, he established a program called the Living Treasures of Hawaii to recognize the cultural contributions of individuals in Hawaii. And this legislation also honors Senator Daniel Inoue, Senator Spark Matsunaga, who served in the 442nd and the 100th Battalion units. And of course, they later went on to serve the people of Hawaii for many decades and the people of our country. Mahalo nui loa.